Hey y'all, today we're making roasted red pepper hummus. Okay, so I finally grew up and got me a food processor. Aren't y'all proud? Hold your applause, please. So anyway, the first thing I did was I took two cans of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call them, and I drained and rinsed those. And then I put them right over in my food processor. Now I'm going to need a third of a cup of this tahini. If you've never used this before, it has the consistency of um, like a natural peanut butter. So it's real thick on the bottom and real watery on the top. So you have to mix it up. And look, I made the biggest mess, but guess what? Supervisor right there. That's my six-year-old grandson telling me where I should have poured it and what I should have done. <laughs> do y'all have grandkids that tell y'all what to do? So anyway, he just loves to cook y'all. So he hangs out in the kitchen with me a lot. So then I added in a, a kind of a big teaspoon of minced garlic and I'm going to add in some salt. Now I kind of keep the seasonings minimal right here in the beginning. And then as I mix it up, I will see what I need seasoning wise and add whatever I feel like I need. So now you're going to need a third of a cup of lemon juice. Now, if you don't have fresh lemons or don't want to use fresh lemons, use the stuff out of the little squirty bottle or the little lemon thing that's shaped like a lemon. Use whatever you have, y'all. Use whatever you have. Y'all know I always say that. So it took me, I was trying to get about a third of a cup of the lemon juice and it took me about a lemon and a half. And I tried to pick most of the seeds out when I saw them, but I knew that I was squirting seeds down into my lemon juice. So just be mindful of that if you don't have like the little juicer thing, because I don't have the little juicer. I need to get me one of those too, but you know, I'll put it on the list. So what I did was I took this little tiny strainer and I just strained my lemon juice through there just so I could catch all the seeds. So, you know, that's what I did. Do what you need to do. Now, because it's roasted red pepper hummus, we're going to put some roasted red peppers in here. Now, obviously you saw I have my grandkids on this weekend and so... I didn't want to take the time to roast red peppers. So I got a jar of roasted red peppers, but if you want to roast your peppers, you feel free and you go ahead and you roast your peppers. You're going to need about three quarters of a cup, a cup, somewhere along in there. I put about three quarters of a cup in mine. So then you're going to just put the lid on here and we're just going to let her spin. And as it mixes in, when it starts to get good and mixed in, I'll drizzle a little bit of olive oil down in there to um you know to get it to that smooth consistency now i don't let mine mix until it's like smooth smooth i mean you can see in the pictures that i put in here but you know i don't mind it having a little bit of texture i just don't want big hunks of beans you know what i'm saying so you can do yours however you want to do yours but like i said i just let it mix up or process whatever it does in the food process or processing so, but I added some um, olive oil, about a tablespoon or, well, probably about a tablespoon on the first hit, and then I'll, I'll give it a little more in a minute. So, I, I feel like hummus is one of those things, either you love it or you hate it. You know what I mean? Are y'all with me on that? Do you like hummus or do you not like hummus? I didn't used to like it, but I have a friend that brought some over not too long ago, and she left what what we didn't eat. I ate the whole darn thing that was left, y'all. I'm plumb ashamed of myself, but y'all don't judge me, okay? But anyway, I just thought, you know what? I'll try to make my own now that I have this fancy new processor. It's not fancy. It's cheap, y'all. But I have it, so let's use it. So I added in, I tasted it right there, y'all, and I added in a little bit more olive oil, about another tablespoon, and a little bit more salt, Okay. Just like I always tell y'all with anything that you're cooking, taste it along the way. And if you feel like it needs something else, then add a little bit of something else. Y'all know the garlic was going to come back in here. So I added a little bit of garlic powder and I'm also going to add a little bit of paprika. Now, if you like yours with a little bit of a kick, then add something that's going to give it a little bit of a kick. I just wanted mine kind of mild and just, you know, I can just fix me a little bit and whatever you know i didn't want mine spice y'all know i can't handle the spice y'all know that so anyway let me know if y'all are team hummus or not okay and what is your favorite flavor of hummus because i really love the roasted red pepper but i need to try some other ones too so y'all let me know what y'all's favorite is 
So here is our hummus, y'all. I just put, I just cut up a little bit of the red peppers that I had reserved and put right on top to make it beautiful and fancy. And that's it, y'all. It is super, super delicious. So if you like hummus, I hope you give this a try. And look, that is all I've got for y'all today, but I will catch y'all on the next one. <laughs> Bye, y'all.